So right now there are 450 launch facilities in the United States. Each wing will have three squadrons. Each squadron will have five launch control centers and each control center should man 10 missiles. On a daily basis, you walk into work and you know what the possibility is that uh, what could happen, but you hope for peace, plan for war. That's the way that you need to take it on every day when you're going into work. The needs of the Air Force are pretty great as far as missiles go. It's, uh, it is the tier one function that we, that we provide. It allows everyone else the ability to operate because we do have that constant deterrence going on. So everything is allowed to function because of our strong nuclear presence. Nuclear deterrence is the bedrock of our national sovereignty. As long as we're in possession of these weapons and we're able to cause such irreparable damage to a potential adversary, they will have to consider their choices carefully moving forward if someone was decided to attack the United States. Some of the equipment is very old, but they have been uh, uh, refurbished quite a few times. The fact that our weapon system was fielded in the late 1960s and ceased production in 1978 and is still operational is a testament to our maintainers. The fact that we keep revitalizing how these weapons are used and how, how they're maintained, those guys in the maintenance field are working so fast and they've got their stuff so wired tight, it's really, it's really something else to see. It's, it's pageantry with how much that they have uh, rehearsed and how well and how efficiently they can work. With the missile itself, I mean, it's about 60 feet high and you can see pictures of it, but it doesn't really do it justice until you're standing next to it. And it's really quite astounding. The, the power of these things and the destructive force of these things is, is really, really pretty impressive. My wife has a great grasp of what I do. I think she understands the gravity of the entire situation as far as what we do at this job. If it was me personally, I would know that things in the world, uh, the situation, the environment of the world is so bad that we had no other alternative but to use these. I know that what I'm doing is to protect my country and to protect the people I love. When Colonel Paul Tibbetts was piloting the Enola Gay mission, their in brief before they departed actually consisted of the mission planners telling them that the, the power of the weapon system that they're about to drop over Hiroshima could knock the earth off its axis. So they went into that with a bit of an unknown when they were, uh, when they were prepared to carry that out, which they did. And you can imagine that would, be a, uh, that would be a pretty intense experience, but zero hesitation to keep turn. The AGM-86B Air Launch Cruise Missile, or ALCOM for short, is the nation's only nuclear cruise missile. The ALCOM is a key air component of the nuclear triad and provides the nation with the strategic capability to assure our allies and deter potential adversaries. Since 1982, the ALCOM has provided a clear, visible, and tailorable nuclear deterrent that also denies geographic sanctuaries to potential adversaries. The Alcom is designed to deliver a nuclear payload on target, destroying it on impact, with a nuclear yield significantly larger than the size of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. As a standoff weapon, the Alcom can be launched from outside the combat area, allowing air crews to strike distant targets with a high degree of accuracy without exposing themselves to potentially deadly enemy fire and keeping clear of the nuclear blast. What the Alcom does uh, serves as a very important piece of the air delivered nuclear capability. Um, everything we do to sustain uh, the weapon system right now ensures that nuclear deterrence. The Alcom was initially designed with a 10 year lifespan, but has been in use for about 35 years, largely due to a successful sustainment program managed by the Air Force Nuclear Weapons Center Missile Sustainment Division at Tinker Air Force Base. Our mission here uh, in the Cruise Missile uh, Division is to make sure that our weapon systems are safe and reliable uh, for nuclear and conventional. Uh, we do this with a highly committed and dedicated workforce. 
with a sense of ownership, a sense of urgency, and 100% quality. That combined with our stakeholders to assure that our cruise missiles are highly effective, to make sure that they are never doubted and always feared. Welcome to Tinker Air Force Base, home to the Nuclear Weapons Center Missile Sustainment Division, where the ALCOM and its conventional variant, the CALCOM, are managed. The Avionics Integration Support Facility allows us to develop, implement, and test software changes, as well as troubleshoot field hardware and software problems. We directly support the warfighter in missile and launcher maintenance, as well as flight test analysis. Our lab and expertise provides us the ability to perform real-time fault analysis and problem resolution with field and hardware issues. Coming down. That was a good one. The CALCOM became operational in 1991 during Operation Desert Storm and also saw significant use in Operations Desert Strike, Desert Fox, Allied Force, Enduring Freedom, and Iraqi Freedom. Good missile. It is one of the most powerful weapon systems that the Air Force has. We pray every day that this weapon system is not used, but if it ever needs to be used, we owe it to to uh, our friends, our family, we owe it to this nation that they will work and will work as advertised. The Outcome Program Office relies on the talents and skills of a significant number of people from across functional areas to keep the Outcome relevant. Functions include program management, equipment specialists, engineering, logistics, finance, contracting, security, and others. We're very hardworking, dedicated people dedicated to ensuring that taxpayers' dollars are spent in a manner in which we are getting the best value. To be able to make a 20 or 30 year old missile fly with the precision that it needs to have, with the reliability that it needs to fly with, it's incredible. Keep the bad guys away. That's, that's exactly right. Keep, keep everything safe for my family, friends, country community. The importance of nuclear deterrence is a major strategy for our national security. It takes the program office here at the Missile Sustainment Division full of talented and dedicated people of all skill sets and functions to ensure that the outcome is never doubted, always feared.